during 17 weeks, I had a breakdown. Hey everyone, so I'm back with a 17 week pregnancy update. I'm going to be sharing how I've been feeling throughout 17 weeks and also give you guys a look at the baby bump. So I think what I'm going to do is that I'm going to share my outfits in my videos now, kind of get an idea of what I'm wearing what's comfy, what's working for me. Also, I'm gonna come on camera bare face just so that I can kind of see how my skin is doing throughout this whole pregnancy because it has been changing, I'm noticing it. And I also want to introduce that to this segment as well. So hope you guys enjoy it. If you do enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you are. So let's get into the video. So I wanna share with you guys my outfit. It's nothing fancy. Just something very casual, very comfortable. I'm all about comfy clothes. So my cardigan is from Garage. It doesn't have any buttons or anything. It has some pockets. It's in a black. Let me come in closer so you can see the quality of it. And then my top, loose fitting top from Garage. Has this nice little neck detail. Jewelry, not that it was really important, but I'm just wearing this necklace from Pandora. Um, I have the princess ring from Pandora as well. I have this rose gold watch from Guess. As for my leggings, I am wearing these ones from Aritzia and they retail for about 30 bucks. As for shoes today, just something very, very comfy. These cute moccasins from Payless. So I did a really nice pregnancy haul slash try on. I'll link that video somewhere up here in case you guys want to check it out. That's my little outfit, just something very cute and comfy. So as always, it's written on my phone because sometimes I can't remember everything. So at 17 weeks, the baby is about the size of a turnip. It is five inches long, and it's about five or so ounces. Every baby is different, but this is just a rough estimate of how big the baby is at this point. Um, most babies are around the same size when you're early on in your pregnancy, and then it kind of just changes later on. So in week 16 and week 15, I was telling you guys that I was seeing and starting to feel movement. Now we're on to 17 weeks and I wanna say the first two days I felt absolutely nothing. And I started to panic. I honestly started to worry that something was wrong. But I went to Google, as always, I always do this. I go to Google. Um, you shouldn't always do this because sometimes Google can have you thinking that you're gonna die tomorrow or something. But I just went to Google and a lot of people were saying it's normal, some days you will feel the baby move, some days you won't feel the baby move, don't panic. The only time that you really should start panicking is if you are like in, you know, a lot of pain, maybe you're seeing a lot of blood, then you definitely want to go and see a doctor. So like I said, first two days I didn't feel absolutely anything. I went from feeling the baby move a lot in 16 weeks and then 17 weeks started and I didn't feel anything and I really started to get scared. So by day three, I felt movement and I was able to just relax and calm down and, you know, just be at ease. So I'm glad that I did Google it because it kind of helped me feel a little bit better. And then of course the next day I felt the baby moving. So 17 weeks, I started to feel hip pain again. I think I mentioned this early on in first trimester when I was about four to six weeks, I was feeling um, hip pain. And it's usually in this hip, my right hip, right, like right here. This is where I feel it. So it's like deep inside the bone. That's where I feel it. It's not in the muscle. I feel like it's in the bone. I don't know if you can feel, if that makes sense. But that's where I feel it. It's deep inside my leg. It's not on the skin. It's, you know, really in there. I started off feeling this hip pain very early on and then just disappeared and now it's back. It's a little bit of an annoying feeling. It almost feels like, you know, I just worked out. I was lifting some heavy weights and that's the kind of feeling that you have. But except the pain is much deeper than on the surface because when you work out it's usually a muscle soreness that you feel but this is much deeper it's really in there and it's just a little bit annoying but it's okay so 17 weeks no throwing up awesome i know a lot of you guys were saying to me that you hope that i don't throw up anymore and you know it goes away and all that and 17 weeks there was no throwing up but learning from the past weeks i learned to just eat early that's what helps stop the nausea or triggers throwing up the baby wants me to eat early so i try to eat around 8 to 9 a.m and once i do that i'm good that's it if i don't eat by nine or so then i'm gonna start to feel nauseous but i make sure to just get up grab something quick and light. So also at 17 weeks, I was seeing a lot of movement before I took a shower. I don't know if the baby enjoys showers, doesn't like showers or what it is about me taking a shower, but I've been noticing 
every time before I go to take a shower, I can see the baby kind of, you know, I can see like this wave motion, like the baby's moving in there. I don't know what it is about showers, but it always happens. Day three, D and I, my fiance and I, our first midwife appointment. We did have our midwife appointment kind of late in this pregnancy because of just a whole mess. I found my midwife maybe around 10 weeks or something. And then person that was dealing with the registration went on vacation and then the person who was there to take over couldn't find my form and it was just, it was just annoying. But anyways, we finally met our midwives. We met two of them. It's actually a team of midwives. It's three in total. So we only met two so far. We probably will meet um, the other one later on. But that appointment was really, really nice. I did talk more about it over on the vlog channel, but I'll, I'll share it here as well. So at that appointment, D and I, we answered a lot of questions. They asked us, you know, about family history, you know, diabetes, high, high blood pressure, uh, Down syndrome, stuff like that. And they kind of just filled out like this huge form. They asked us like maybe like a hundred questions. Some things D and I have never ever heard of. So for the most part, we are both pretty healthy and the baby shouldn't have any issues based on that list and other tests and stuff. Also, we finally got to hear the baby's heartbeat, which was very, very nice. Uh, my fiance was a little emotional, which is normal. He's definitely more emotional than me. I feel like he shows it more than I do. I'm emotional in a way that I'm happy, more like smiling and stuff, laughing. He's more, he's happy as well, but you actually like may see him tear up. That's what I mean. So like, for example, we heard the heartbeat and he was tearing up over at the side and I was just, you know, very overjoyed and he was happy, but you know, he teared up. It's really funny how things have changed because I'm usually very emotional and he's more like, you know, a tough one, but it's kind of, it's kind of nice to see him change. So moving on to day four or five, no nausea, no gagging because again, I'm eating early because that's what the baby wants and wants me to eat early. So that's what I'm doing. Oh, also at the midwife appointment, she mentioned that the baby was pretty much right below my belly button so she pushed down and she was like oh okay then she pushed down again she's like oh there's your uterus so this is all baby it was nice to know exactly where the baby was on day six i was able to place my hand on my belly and actually feel like the baby moving like this it was really nice to feel that so now when it comes to sleeping i am more comfortable on my right side versus the left side i was reading online that you should try to sleep more on your left because sleeping on your right puts pressure on your liver that's what i was reading and sleeping on your back um it actually can cause the baby's heart rate to drop and sleeping on your left helps blood helps with blood flow to the heart so i try my best to stay on my left but sometimes you know you get a little bit uncomfortable so i do um switch over to the right side but i don't spend much time on my back at all i probably spend about maybe a few seconds and then i just try to go on my side I'm normally a stomach and back sleeper now that i'm pregnant as soon as i found out that as soon as i kind of realized i was pregnant around four weeks i stopped sleeping on my stomach i was done so i have not slept on my stomach in a very long time during 17 weeks i had a breakdown um i have this fear, I don't know why I have this fear, but I have this fear. Let me know if any of you guys can relate. I have this fear of holding small babies, like newborns. I have this horrible fear that I'm going to hurt this baby. I don't know why I feel that way, but I definitely did have a bit of a breakdown about it. Well, nobody knew. I was kind of just me, and I was watching how people hold babies, and I was just looking at it like... Oh my god, I don't think I can do that. I don't think I can pick up a baby properly. I went to visit my friend who recently had a baby and she was like, Oh, you can, you know, you can pick him up and you can play with them. And I was just like, no, I'm not doing that. Because I feel like I'm not going to be able to hold the head properly. I don't know where this fear came from, but I've never hurt anyone's baby. I've never, I just never tried it because I feel like I'm going to hurt the baby. I don't know where this thing comes from, but it really bothers me and I fear that I will not be able to hold my baby, which is very scary and sad. I definitely will get help with that, of course, because I believe at the hospital they teach you how to hold, breastfeed, and all these other things and bathe the baby, so I definitely need to make sure I am confident before I take this baby home and then, you know, something happens that I just won't pick the baby up. I think my mom said that she would probably stay home with me the first week or so. 
So I'm definitely going to make sure that I'm comfortable alone with picking up and putting down and putting on clothes and all of that. So this fear definitely makes me very emotional just talking about it. I want to be able to hold my baby, of course. And to end off 17 weeks, the last note that I want to leave with you guys is I was feeling a lot of movement and to describe this movement, it's much different than what I've been feeling in the past. Before it was like a jerk kind of movement, like a punch. Now I'm feeling... It kind of feels like bubbles if that makes sense does anyone can anyone relate to that feeling it literally feels like someone's on the inside blowing bubbles like it's like a popping feeling like I don't I don't know how to describe it but that's what it feels like it's really strange but I want to say the majority of my movement movement is on the right side of my stomach that is where I feel bubbles and all that little popping feeling so yeah that is pretty much how that is so currently i am past 17 weeks so i won't do a bump shot right now but i will insert footage of my bump at 17 weeks because i did do a little bump shot for you guys i made sure to do one because sometimes i forget so i went ahead and filmed this little bump shot for you guys and that is my bump at 17 weeks my belly button sticks out a lot it really does. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe if you aren't. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hey.